What's going on guys? LLP here and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft. I did not just say that. Welcome back to another episode of Gold Guild SMP. Today is part two of the Spawn Town. What did I call this last episode? Um, Spawn Town Expansion. So we expanded down this way last episode. And what we're going to do today is we're going to cut right through. And we're going to begin expanding down this way. And we're going to go up and around Oh, I'm tired. How is your guys' is day going? My day is going fairly phenomenal, I gotta say. And I do not say that word often because it's a very... its a, I don't like that word. Phenomenal is not one of those words I like to use a lot. So when I use it, you must know it's a good day. Uh, today we are going to be expanding the spawn town, like I said. Not expanding the buildings yet, but expanding the roads. And the, what the plan for today is, we're going to begin to bring the spawn road up this way and into the spruce forest. Mostly for one simple reason. This, this road here, it's been annoying me for a while now. And I think we might tear this road. We might cut this road here. Let's just make a marker here saying we might tear this road down. How would that look? Being able to turn here, go up and over. I think that would look better. It would also give more roads to spawn, allowing room for more shops. But the ultimate goal is we're going to be building a path uh, and filling this whole area up with uh, spawn town up until here, which is the soon-to-be, hopefully finished, uh, PvP arena, which if you watched one of Gecko's videos, I don't know if he's put it up yet, but if you watch one of his videos, um, we did a little PvP battle, so go check that out, because that was pretty fun. I, I, I won't spoil what happened, so you're going to have to go watch his, watch his video. I'm not sure if he recorded it or not. He might have. So it'll be in, I think, like episode 4 or 5 or something of his series. So that's cool. Let's sleep the night, because it seems like every single time I try recording on the server, it always ends up becoming nighttime. Which annoys me so much, because I'm like... I really, I need to be more of a better person when it comes to judging time on the server because whenever I try coming up with a time to record, it's always like five minutes right before, or maybe like, you know, two minutes before it becomes dark, and I never really gauge that. I probably should. I mean, I did for the first few episodes. I'm like, okay, let's sleep right before recording, so I got a good solid, if I need it, ten minutes to record, because I think daylight is ten minutes or maybe eight minutes or something. But yeah, so let's begin work on the expansion. So eventually we are going to expand the road this way, I believe, and then curve it up and behind or something. I know that I'm basically, no one, I don't know if anyone else has their mindset to begin expanding yet because people are still building shops there. But in my mind, this has been brewing for about a week and a half now. I haven't actually mentioned expanding it this way yet. Oh, hello, cave. How you doing? I'm doing swell. Hello, zombie. There's a zombie down there. I'm pretty sure I saw him. No, I'm 100% sure I saw him. But, oh, there's a spider down there, too. Hello. Well, I'm just going to block you up because I don't want to deal with you at all. <laughs> That's what you do here. You block them completely. And let's begin bringing the road down this way. That was a lucky streak. None of the blocks um, glitched down. I don't, oh, hello, zombie. These zombie, oh, my gosh. I, wit, what is this? Hello, witch. Hello. Hey, oh, no, he poisoned me. Well, time to die. What, I We need to investigate this, guys. Where are these mobs coming from? Are they just... Is it when night they spawn under trees and they don't burn because they're under them and they just come after me because their sight is so good or something? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, well, I'm still poisoned, so... They're all coming down from under there. Wait a minute. I just had an idea, guys. Well, I'd like this poison to stop first because it's about to kill me. Thank you. I have an idea. I just saw something that I wouldn't have seen otherwise. Besides the two burning zombies, there's a hole here. And this might be where they're coming out of. Right here. Where did I see the hole? Here? I just saw a hole. Here. This, I think this is where they're coming out of. So what happened is, if I block this off, I don't think we'll have any more... Let's also light this up back here. I don't think we'll have any more zombie issues, which will be great. This is so slowly becoming uh, animal control episode. Let's light this up. I just want to light it up slightly because the mobs in the past episode um, were getting really annoying. I rewatched the footage and it's just like so many monsters, so many distractions. I realized I get distracted a lot 
in Minecraft, and I feel like it's partly entertaining, but it's partly annoying because sometimes I'm not able to finish a point I'm making, and then I end up completely forgetting what I was talking about, and then never getting back to it, which is a problem with me, and I hate it because it seems to only happen when I'm commentating. So let's continue this. Let's finish up this area here. Ten blocks left. We should be able to five. Well, that's six. We're going to be one short. Uh, we can make another one. This is going to be a big plot. This plot, I've got so many ideas for. I made a list. Where's my... Here we go. Um, the, uh, I made a list the other night. I was talking about this on Twitter. I made a list the other night of possible things I'd like to do. I'd like to... Okay. Let's have serious talk here. Um, basically, my idea for this plot here that's behind me is I want to have it be half a shop, but also have it be a community building. So sort of like you can take stuff for free, but if you want to give back some items as your as a form of payment, you can. Or maybe something, but I feel like people might misuse that. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. But it's an interesting idea, and I want to know your opinion on what we should do here. Um, I know someone on Skype suggested a community building that I really love. I think they suggested... Let's check right now, actually. So let me check on my iPad here. Um, you can just look at my beautiful face while I check this. But, let's see. Um, I was suggested a interesting community building. I'll tell you that in a second. Where is... It? Where's the Skype? Okay. I was suggested... I'll tell you in a second... Like a wizarding... Like an enchantment shop. So basically a shop dedicated to like enchanted books and stuff like that. And then... What the idea would be is, and I have a spot for it, I don't know if we would do it here, but I have a spot in mind for one reason, and you'll know if I'm going over here, you'll know all automatically. I want to talk, if I do this idea, I want to put it here. Sort of like a smaller building, maybe like, maybe like a book, maybe like a bookshop or something, enchanted bookshop, right by the enchanting table to get business. What does that say? Community, why is there cobblestone there? That shouldn't be there. But... The reason this isn't a good idea and I want to put it over here is because I want to get in contact with Gecko and see if we can do some sort of partnership. I want to do like a partnership business with the enchantment shop and the potion shop. I think, now the thing is, I'm not sure he sells, does he sell enchants? Oh, he already sells enchantments. Okay. Hmm. I want to do something that has to do with magic. What do we have that's magical? I mean, we could definitely make a bookshop and we could sell independent books. Hmm. All I know is I want to do some sort of magic shop, and I want to do a partnership with Gecko, so that'll make a few episodes, a collab with Gecko, possibly. Because that's an idea I had, and someone gave that to me. Uh, someone I know in person, in IRL, gave me that idea over Skype, and I'm like, okay, it's a good idea. I originally thought, okay, isn't, doesn't Gecko have that shop? But then I, I kind of, I'm like, okay, maybe this would work. I don't know. It's an interesting idea, I gotta say, because I actually like it a lot. And if we can put it right by the enchanting table, I think... It'll get good business. But that's not what this shop is for. This shop is a shop or possibly just a community building. Because I want to put a community building down here. We've got the donation station, which is what Ferno... I don't know what this is supposed to be, but maybe it's supposed to be a building eventually. We have the infirmary, the mine shop. The infirmary, it may not sound like a shop, but the infirmary is a shop. And I bought from it before. It's a healing potion shop. And it does get a lot of payment. Let's actually see what's down here. I'm just going into here. Oh, it's a payment shop. What is this? Wait a minute. Glass. Oh, you can donate glass bottles. Hmm. That's actually a pretty interesting idea. It's sort of like if you've ever been to like a blood drive or something, you donate blood, donate glass bottles. I don't know. I do not know why I just made that comparison, but it worked. So, yeah, I think we're going to end off today's episode here. If you enjoyed a shorter episode, I don't have too much time to record today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please sure leave a comment down below telling me what you want me to see. If you want to see that kind of magic shop, or if you want to see sort of like a partnership shop with Gecko. As always, I've been LP, and we'll see you guys in the next video.